Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I thought I would do a clean out of my pouches. I suppose this could be a Sunday stationery video. Uh, I know it's going to be very long and chatty and I, <laughs> I apologize in advance, but I really need to get these guys cleaned out. I, this happens to me every so often, maybe after a couple months or so, things just end up piling up in my pencil pouches and I need to clear them out. <laughs> so I thought I would do, do that with you on camera. Um, yeah, do you have this problem too where, you know, things just end up piling up in your pencil pouch and <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it is, but yes, so I thought I would do that with you on camera. Let's start off with the smaller pouch here. This pencil pouch is a Superior Labor pencil pouch. It's a collaboration with Traveler's Company and they had an event at the Nakameguro flagship store and my sweet friend Esther was very very kind enough to help me obtain this pencil pouch and she's even personalized it and you'll see what's inside she stamped it inside it's really really neat okay so oh gosh I don't even know where to begin I'm just gonna start pulling things out and I'll make a pile of things that I want to keep and things that I can kind of organize and put away. So for sure I need my water brush, my glue stick, one of my favorites. Um, this one I can put away. <laughs> I use these to wrap gifts and things and uh, when I do Happy Mail I wrap things sometimes and I use the beautiful Avril yarn. Some washi tape samples that I can put away. I don't even know why this is in there. This is a Christmas one. I think I was using maybe these two. But this one up here is a Christmas one. Um, sticky notes. I th No, I think I will put them, put them away. Sticky notes. Gosh, look at these clips. I'm always on the hunt for clips when I'm journaling. I like to keep my book open so I'm always clipping things down. <laughs> I'm not sure what this, oh maybe I just a scrap piece that I've used. Oh my gosh I can see the bottom there. Can you see that? Why are there beads in the bo bottom? Uh, oh. oh, I need to make more pen loops. That's why I took these out. This is from Lady Falcon Travelers. Um, she has these uh, do-it-yourself pen loops and I've been wanting to do that with my folders so I think I'll keep them I think I will keep them because I really need to get that done um, oh some stickers from Petra oh gosh oh my gosh <laughs> So we'll look through these pens here. I don't even, I can't believe there's two. So there's two dot liner petites in here. Maybe one ran out, I'm not sure. Or this one is almost running out, I think it looks like. So I need to use these up. So I'll keep that there. Clip, another clip. Beautiful watercolor set from Connie so pretty like these earth tones are just and I love the fact that she has the watercolors all in a tin and like seashells and there's even little magnets so that they stay put it's so nice okay so this is what you see <laughs> on the bottom isn't that so neat she stamped my name on the bottom of the pouch so so thankful um, my daughter was playing around with one of my old necklaces and it broke and all the beads fell on the floor but instead of tossing it out I thought I could use them for charms for my junk journals in the future and I just really wanted to keep them but now I need to get a baggie and put them in a baggie so how often do you clean your pencil pouches do you have the same problem <laughs> Are you the type that puts everything away after you use something? Oh, I think
think there's one, oh, one more here. If I can use these as charms for my junk journals in the future. Okay. I, the thing I'm struggling with is I don't have a designated desk space. This is my dining room table. You'll see all the nicks and things because my kids like to bang their utensils sometimes on the table. So yeah, I don't have a designated desk space and that's really, really not bugging me. I mean, I've learned to deal with it. But I think if I had a designated desk space whoops, with certain areas to keep all my pens, my markers, you know, my adhesive area, things for happy mail... I think it would be a lot easier. It wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't get into this problem where I'm, you know, always stuffing my pouch. But, anyways, so there's one pouch done. I will review all the pens after I clean this one out here. So this is the next one. Oh my gosh. So let's take this. Oh, I really love this um, brush pen. It's a dual ended or dual tipped one, and it's from Sailor. And I love how black it is. But anyways, so there's that. There's another water brush. I'll take all the pens and things out. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh man. This is from Jessica Rapp. Two silver oranges on Etsy. And I've been using it on and off for collaging. I haven't used it in a while. Um because I've been using like colorful scrap papers for my junk journaling in here but I also need to do one a flip through one of these days eh um, but yeah I think mm, what should I do let's do a maybe and oh ah. Some washi tape stickers. Oh, these beautiful stamps from Shamil Garden. I got this tin from Esther, Esther Molina's art. She gave me a, a really cute set of chocolates for Valentine's. And I think it was this was from Valentine's. And it's fit perfectly in there, the little alphabet. I brought this pouch with me to see my friend Eva. And, um... And that's why I have these in there. <laughs> and several stamp pads. <laughs> I don't need all of them. Let's keep the this one out. And oh my daughter and my daughter loves to play around with the watercolor pens, she likes to take them out and rearrange. I I don't know how many times I rearrange these colors. She always takes them out and just does it herself. So it's a huge mess right now. It's not really um, color coordinated or anything. So I just have the empty or the extras in here. I really want to, I really want to redo this one. And, um, but anyways, that's a whole other day. And then I found another dot liner, another petite one, and oh my gosh, there's three. There's one. Here is a beautiful uh, cream from Life at 30 something for my one of my uh, birthday gifts. It's really, really nice. And it's from Brazil, I believe. Is it from Brazil? Yeah, made in Brazil. Wow. I think I will have to put that away. I brought my watercolor sheets with me to see Eva, but I never ended up using it. Uh, but it's, there we go, that's that, I'm going to put that away. More clips, oh, another watercolor here. More clips, I think I'm going to leave these here. Oh, business cards I can put away. Um, oh, a sticker. I don't think I have anything else reasons I can put away and my pins that I have here this is from Kenry this beautiful one from Kenry I don't know if you can see that there and from Iris Beaky 4 I think it is 
from Hawaii. And I don't think I have anything in here. All right, so let's review these pens and things. So this is my kind of keep area. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I want to do. I remember in my, oh, I don't remember how long it was. I did one of these like similar type of videos and I wanted to keep one pencil pouch for Hobonichi and one pencil pouch just for planning and things. So I may do that this time. I think I'll do this for Hobonichi just so that I can put my watercolors and washi tapes and my tape runners here. Um, and clips and things like that in here. It's a little bit bigger and I think for this one I'll use for planning uh, If I need to you know plan and do just very minimal things So let's review the pens and things like that. Actually, I'm going to put these away because I do want to Organize them so I'm going to use this watercolor set here I'm actually really enjoying this one here. This is a kuretake one I don't know what nib size it is, but I'm really enjoying how this writes. I mean, this used to be my go-to, like 100% go-to, but I'm actually really enjoying this one lately. I should do like an update favorites video, uh, but I think I'll put both in here because I like how they dif they write differently. And of course my adhesives, I think I will keep my adhesives in this pocket here. I'm just gonna, I need to, I think I'm almost finished this and I really need to use it up. So I'll keep the adhesives in here. I like to stamp sometimes, so I'll do that with my ink pad, uh, my another, another watercolor from Connie. And these are the date washi tapes and stickers. And I think that's it. Oh, I don't have my pens in there. So actually, you know what? I'm going to remove these because I don't use this set often. Sorry about the airplane. I don't know if you can hear that, but... I'm going to remove these washies as well because I don't need it all of the time. And that way, we have this out of the way. I'm going to clip these back on to the front. I'm always, oh, I already have clips in the, in the inside there, so I don't need those. I can put that away. Just put this Ollie clip down here. Okay, let's go through the pens. What pens do I need? Oh, these are scissors. I need these for my Hobonichi and art journaling and junk journaling and things like that. So that's that. So for planning, all right, so where do we begin? This one for sure, I really love how black this is and how the brush writes. So this I use in my Hobonichi often, so I'm going to put that in my Hobonichi pouch. Hopefully you can see that. This is like not even, <laughs> I think I'm going to be back to square one. Um, but yeah, and then... Let's take out the pens for planning. I like the uniball. I like how there's the three colors in this one. This one, I'm so sad. My um, my daughter broke. I don't know if you can see that. She broke this. I don't. I don't know. Like she was doing something, and then the plastic broke. So I'm very disappointed. But you can kind of still use it. <laughs> you just have to knock it down so that the pen part. Uh, the pen part falls down, but I don't know, maybe I, I I want to just use all the ink up first, so uh, maybe I should use these colors for the Hobonichi. I want to use this up. I don't want to just toss it out and not use all the ink. These markers here. This is great for the shadowing for any doodles and things. And this one as well for a Hobonichi. I like to just add the little dots. Oops, it's this side here. This is gonna get full like really fast. This I could use to highlight. And mechanical pencil. 
for drawing. I don't really, I don't really use the pencil. I'm gonna put it out um, to the side because I don't really use pencil in the Hoponichi. I just go straight into it using a marker or like one of these fine liners. Uh, this is the zero one. I, this is my replacement after using up the Marvi Uchida one. The zero zero five. This one. I don't know why I purchased this. I thought I would use a fine tip. This is extremely, extremely fine. I don't know if you can't really tell, can you? Uh, this is the 03, 003, 005, and then the 01. I don't know why I purchased this 003. It's just way too fine for me. Um, this one, oops, I use, I like the 01 very much. The 005 even, I feel like it's too thin, but I'll keep that in there. This one I'm not going to use. And I purchased it in the brown too. I'm not really sure what my thoughts were behind that. I like to keep, keep at least two different nib sizes. I think I'm going to let this one go, the 005. It's too thin. Um, so there's the 01 and the 02, both in the uni pin, which I really, really like. I used this a while ago as well, and there's that. The 03, I really like as well. Uh, what should I do? You know what? I'm going to do this. There's more of a difference between 01 and 03, so there's that. This I won't use. This I need to get a refill for. I was using this with my pocket planner and I love the fact that it's very thin. I purchased it from the Hobonichi website several years ago. I just like the really slim profile and it's very, not very, but it's quite weighty. It's not like a plastic feel at all. It's a nice weight. It has a nice weight to it. Um, it's not, it was not cheap. It was about, say, you know, I believe like $10. So. I purchased it from the Hobonichi website, and yeah, I need to get a refill, so I'll have to put that aside. Oh my so yeah, I actually only have three. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need a pencil pouch just for my planner. I have my stencil and my post-it notes and my multicolor pen for my planner, and it's all encased in that, and I guess I don't need this. This I can kind of store, these items I can store away. Um, and this I will keep as my junk journal, art journal, Hobonichi pen pouch. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but yes, hopefully it doesn't get too, too big. And I really need to check myself once in a while. So that's it. That's my pencil pouch clear out. I have to remember not to stuff them too much. I mean, it's kind of difficult to do. Like I said, I don't have a designated desk area, so I end up taking something out, and then it takes too long to put things back, or my kids need me or something, and I can't get to it right away. I'll just end up stuffing everything in the pencil pouch. But I don't know. Is this interesting? I think it's kind of fun looking through people's... Well, I like looking through people's um, pencil pouches and see what they carry. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to see another one of these in the future, please let me know down below or give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.